guys how's it going so i am so excited to talk with y'all today i have gotten so many new gadgets and they all came in so i'm going to do an unboxing and kind of go through everything that i got and i also got some groceries so i'm gonna go through what i got for a grocery haul as well so you guys can see what i get um right now i'm still using the silver backpack i'm waiting to get my new fridge in it's a low voltage fridge that you can use like hook up to your car or you can also hook up to your battery system so i got a low voltage one that will be here in the middle of the week but for now i'm going to show you what i've been doing in the meantime and eating these kind of other things that i don't have to refrigerate so here we go let's start with groceries let's start with groceries i also went to the dollar store the dollar tree and i got some really good stuff so we'll talk about that too these are heaven these instant rice packs so i got quite a few different flavors of the rice packs Put some ghee in there, stir it up, put a little water, let it cook, fire, fire. Got some liquid smoke because I'm trying to do these like grilled mushroom things that I saw on YouTube and he had this liquid smoke so I was like step by step, you know what I mean? This is also not refrigerated right now so I don't have to refrigerate it until I open it. Baby parm, it's very small, look, influenza. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's as like literally small as my hand. So nice size. Nice travel size. And uh, so don't make fun of me. But for some reason, I love these macaronis. I haven't had these in a really long time. Normally I get the SpongeBob ones, but they didn't have them. So I got this guy, Paw Patrol. So we're gonna eat these, and then with my um, with my rices, I've been eating these little meals with it. Eating these up, so good. These are literally like two dollars. The rice things are like two dollars, and they um, it's almost two meals worth of food. So I love that got some of these for when I have a sweet tooth. I'm trying to get cut down on the sweet. Then I also got a pack of pre-cut fruits. Yum. Mangoes, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and strawberries. So that's going to be great with oatmeal in the morning, which I'm super excited about. I'm trying my best for the next month or so to um, cook as much as I can. And once I show y'all the gadgets I got, you'll see why so like i said i also went to the dollar tree but we can talk about that at another time Ugh. i got three different types of popcorn from tj maxx because i was trying to return something and i ended up getting that stuff instead and let's see what else is back here that's my dollar tree stuff so that's my dollar tree stuff we won't get into that but yeah that's what i got for the week i also have some hummus that i'm gonna tear up um what else do i have i have some crackers no i have some nuts down here some uh assorted different nuts also and then from the dollar tree i got some trail mix um some dehydrated strawberries and bananas and a couple of other things like that as well which i will get into once i finish boxing unboxing these things here so let's start unboxing this then we'll get into the dollar tree haul I got everything put together as much as I can. So this is what we got. We have this. Which I'm just going to open. I believe this is actually the portable um, um, toilet. Yeah. Okay. 
Yes, so this is a foldable toilet that you can open and take a deuce on. So, this is going to be really helpful. There's, um, this is the lid and the seat, so it ends up going like this. So this is going to be super, super handy moving in the future. These are a couple of waste um, bags. So that's nice. Probably put um, some Clorox wipes in here. Just to add that and some wipes. I know I'm kind of doing it in the middle, but I have some Clorox wipes that I got from the Dollar Tree. these little sorry what is this personal white so that way it's all inside of here um yeah, this is awesome i will share with you all a separate video of how i've been using and handling my waste but this is like oh, I have that. I have this, which I'm so excited about. This is a foldable sink, which you literally just uh, go like this. It has a little um, gray water right here. So you can hook it up to a gray water area. And this is, it's just foldable, which is awesome. So I can rinse veggies. Um, if I want to brush my teeth for some reason in this or wash my face or something, something random, I guess that I would need this big sink for, but mostly for cooking is what I'm thinking I'll be using it for. But that is exciting as well. I also got these globe lights, which I will be installing tonight. They are two power supply, so they come with the USB and the battery bank. This is what they look like, little ball things that I'm going to be hooking up around the interior so that way I can turn it on. It has a little remote with different lights and the USB and the battery bank. So I will be using these tonight and I'm very excited. I probably won't do the full wiring of it tonight because it's getting dark, but I'll at least be able to try them out and see how they work. Another really awesome thing that I got is a pop-up tent. So this tent I will be able to use for outdoor bathroom during the day. If I want to pop this up and use the toilet outside, I can use this instead changing um it's not very big to sleep in but i do have a personal size um tent underneath my um seat back here so i'll probably put this with it because i'm not sure that i'll be using this daily or anything like that but um it's just nice to have it so if i'm on a beach or something like that and i'm staying a few days and i'm lay laying everything out then i can put this tent out for my toilet I'm very excited about that. And I also got this, which is what I'll be cooking with tonight, and I'm so excited. This is a mini induction. I, um, it's 600 watts, so it is, you know, it's going to be taking up quite a bit of energy, but I'm very excited to have an electric eye so I don't have to use a gas stove, and I'll be able to cook some stuff up tonight and give it a shot. See how it works. So I also got this really awesome pour over cup, which I'm just gonna take out the box here so we can see it. So this is the cup, it's really cute. And then when you, this is the pour over 
Um, so you, you can hook it to the sides of the cup and put like some chai or some coffee in it, do a pour over it, and then this is your coffee cup. So, yeah guys. This is going to be awesome. I plan on using this tomorrow, hopefully, to try out with some chai. Oh, I got this as well, which I'm really pumped about. Oh, this bag is pretty cool. So this is... The Sugar Sarme Pizza. So basically... Oil this thing, clean it. But it's supposed to be able to use this as a little pea cup. Can you pee into? Here. Let's see how this thing works, Lord. Putting the rubber thing in here. Seal it up. I'm just nervous because this isn't a very big cup. It must just be a storage cup and not for what you actually pee into because I'm like. Okay, so. Don't think that this is enough to you would overfill this, trust me. So you're supposed to be able to just pee into here and then it go into the you know, the tube of wherever you're gonna be peeing into. And then you're supposed to be able to just fold it back up like this. This has to go like this. And then go boom. Boom. And then it goes back inside this little cup. So apparently this is how it's supposed to be stored like this. And so, yeah, we'll try this out and see how it works um, compared to what I normally use, which is I normally use a larger cup. Um, but we'll see how this goes and see um, if I can just spray into it to clean it out or the best way to get this thing to work. But yeah, that's what I got there. I'm excited to try it out. Um, got a little dark on me. One second. Oh, it also came with this bag too. So I guess it needs to go inside of this bag and then inside of here. So hold on a sec. I think it goes inside of here. Press that, the light back on. Just keep it on like this. 
this for a minute, okay? Um, so I got that one. I also want to open this eye, actually. So I'm gonna open this up with you guys if I can see. So I want to open this up with you guys and see. So it's the mini induction cooker. I will be whipping up some food tonight. See how it works. Hopefully being able to whip up some um, oatmeal in the morning with this. I have enough charge because I only have a little bit of charge. Alrighty. So it looks like this. It looks like this. Pretty cute. We'll see how it runs though. And then it also does come with this manual. So we'll see how that runs. I feel like I should keep this box, but I don't know that it will be able to fit that way. protected so there's no hard case or anything for it i think that it would be good to keep it in something like this if i can if there's enough room in my little kitchen area this would be a good little case to hold it on to hold on to it, you know so that's that and then the last thing that i got which is a really big thing is this portable pressure shower so I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's 10 gallons. It fits into this small little thing like that. And there's a shower head in here and everything so I can do cleaning dishes, um, rinsing off my whatever needs to be rinsed off with this. So that's really exciting as well. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but that's what it looks like. And it's a little shower pump. So yeah, guys, really exciting. I'm really pumped up about it. I'm really, really excited. And then, thought I'd show you what I got from the Dollar Tree too. You know what I mean? Make a whole trip out of it. I got some of these. Dehydrated strawberry bananas, yum. Trail mix, yum. Yorks. Can't go wrong with those. I needed um, another one of these little holders, one for my shower bag, one for my purse, so that way I can have it. Um, paper plates. I got a baby cutting board for actually cutting on stuff. I have a large cutting board and an office cutting board, but neither of those do I want to have like garlic smells and stuff on, so I got a baby cutting board. I got these packs instead of the Clorox large thing because there's not a lot of room to have that large circle. So I got some smaller packs, some heavy duty duct tape to finish doctoring up some of my window covers. They're starting to come apart, um, the, in, the Reflectix and the fabric vinyl that I have. So I'm just going to tape the corners up, get it secure, a whole bunch of batteries. Um, so I'm going to be hooking up my lights in a few minutes and checking them out with some batteries. I got some clips for popcorn, uh, any little things that needs to be clipped, any bags or anything like that. A baby thing of Snickers. Because I love Snickers. Okay. And last but not least, 
I got these zip ties, which I'm really excited to use to kind of put some hooks up here so that way I can hook the lights and different um, curtains or things like that to um, these little hoops instead of having the little setup that I have right now. I think that these are going to be game changers and it'll keep my setup, which I currently have these curtains that are always up. But if I have these zip ties strategically put up, I can actually have some drapery fabric or something like that on some S hooks that I can hook when I'm actually needing some privacy or something like that instead of having these up all the time. So I'm very excited to get these installed. Got these for my pour over. I don't know if I'll need this, but I think it'll keep it clean if I, you know, um, just put the chai inside of here instead of putting it directly into the cup. I got a little baby broom so that way I can sweep stuff. I did go to the gas station to vacuum and everything, but it's $2 to vacuum and I don't need that five full minutes. So this will help me in the meantime, just kind of sweep stuff that I need to sweep out of the way. More batteries, more batteries, more batteries, and another toothbrush. So that's what I got from my haul from the Dollar Tree. I'm really excited to try all these products out and let you all know how they all work for me here in the Chariot. But for now, I'm going to get everything organized again and make some dinner. So I'll take a couple videos of what that looks like and what my globe lights look like installed for the time being until I get the full hookup. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see y'all in a few. We are getting somewhere. Look at how light. It's so bright and then look. We can do it different colors. Yay, 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 yay. I like them so much. So cute. So cute. So now I'm just gonna configure a way to hang them up. I'll probably just try to keep them in the back, honestly. I was thinking that I would pull them all the way to the front, but there's not that much. So I'm thinking I'll put it here and swing it around to the back and do like a U shape and then bring that the cord back over here um, for the battery so that it'll be in a secure spot. But yeah, it's looking good. I'm excited. All right, time for a macaroni. So the electric eye did not work. So I have my door open and I'm making my noodles on my gas stove. I'm grateful for it, but as you can see, it's quite a lot and it feels kind of scary having the gas stove running in such a small space. So I'm very excited to get a new eye. I'm probably going to return and get a new eye from Home Depot or something tomorrow instead. Um, that way I know that it'll be low voltage, that it works, and that I am just not getting it from offline. So this is what we're doing for uh, for dinner and breakfast tomorrow. Um, I'm right now making these macaroni noodles. I have, ooh, I have my ghee. So I'll be throwing that in there. Um, my bowl, which I'll be using later. And then I tend to put wrap around the bowl so that way I can just throw that out. And then I got the nudies. So we'll just wait for this to boil um, and not make too much commotion so that way I don't have to worry about the gas. And yeah. Um, I'll probably put the rest of this stuff away tomorrow, um, find a good place for everything to go. I am moving some things around, so I'm not too worried about getting things in the perfect spot tonight, but I am very happy about these lights and just what I have so far. I feel like these are great additions to the rig and I'm getting closer to being even more comfortable. So thanks for riding out with me y'all and I'll see you next time. Peace.